In the 1960s, the beautiful actress Honor Blackman took the world of British television by storm thanks to her role on the seminal spy series The Avengers. After appearing in a few seasons, Honor quit so she could take on the iconic role of Pussy Galore in the James Bond film Goldfinger. Join Facts First as we explore how Honor Blackman quit The Avengers for James Bond's Goldfinger. Honor Blackman was born in Plainstow, England in August of 1925. She had a prestigious upbringing despite the fact that her father was a civil service statistician. For schooling, she started out attending North Ealing Primary School. From there, she moved on to Ealing County Grammar School for girls. When she turned 15, her parents bestowed upon her a pair of gifts that helped a great deal during her future career. These gifts included acting lessons as well as enrollment at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. During her time there, Honor worked as a clerical assistant within the school's office. After she graduated, she worked for several years as an understudy before finally getting a big role of her own. This role came via a production of a Patrick Hastings play called The Blind Goddess, which premiered at the Apollo Theater. Honor Blackman performed her role in 1947, the same year that she made her debut on the big screen. As is typically the case, her first role on cinema screens was a non-speaking one. It was in 1947's Fame is the Spur. A year later, she could be seen in the film Quarter. That film was based upon short stories by acclaimed author W. Somerset Maugham. In 1950, Honor appeared on screen alongside Dirk Bogard yet again in the film So Long at the Fair. Honor worked her butt off to get her big break. Over the course of the 1950s, Honor Blackman slowly but surely built up her resume. In 1951, she was given the chance to star alongside Richard Burton in the film Green Grow the Rushes. In 1958, she could be seen in the film A Night to Remember, based on the disastrous journey of the Titanic. The end of the 50s also saw her branch out from stage and film into television. In 1959, she took up a recurring role as one of the main character's secretaries on The Four Just Men. In the early 60s, Honor Blackman ended up receiving a television role that made her a star, at least in her home country. From 1962 to 64, she played Dr. Kathy Gale on the seminal spy series The Avengers. The show was a big hit, and it brought Honor more attention than ever. The character of Dr. Kathy Gale was a strong female. Honor studied judo to perform the role. Another aspect of the character that helped her appeal to audiences was Kathy's penchant for tight leather clothes. The Avengers became a massive hit. Honor Blackman was one of the show's most prized assets. When Honor left the series in 64, it likely came as a pretty big blow to the creative staff. However, they were all well aware that the star had bigger and better things ahead of her. She quit the Avengers after only two years, but she had a good reason. As it turns out, she was offered the part of Pussy Galore in the then-upcoming James Bond film Goldfinger. Albert Broccoli chose Honor to play Pussy Galore. According to legendary James Bond producer Albert R. Broccoli, he knew he had to cast Honor Blackman in a James Bond film as soon as he saw her work on The Avengers. At the time, The Avengers was only popular in England. Later on, the show found a more global audience via syndication. Unlike The Avengers, the James Bond franchise was a property that needed to appeal just as much to audiences in America as the UK. Still, Albert didn't feel like the American audience's lack of familiarity with Honor's role on The Avengers mattered much. He had so much faith in the actress, he felt she could make just as strong of an impression on Americans as an unknown. Meanwhile, her Avengers popularity was a big plus on the home front. Honor left the Avengers to perform Pussy Galore in Goldfinger, and the rest is history. Pussy stands as one of the most iconic Bond girls ever. The role took further advantage of Honor's judo training, which she had taken up for her role as Dr. Kathy Gale. When it came to how Honor ended up being received by American audiences, Albert was right on the money. Even though they had no familiarity with her work, they fell in love with her. Goldfinger was released in 1964. It was the third film in the franchise, after Dr. No and From Russia with Love. Goldfinger ended up being a much bigger hit than the two preceding films. To this day, there are many James Bond fans who believe the film franchise peaked with Goldfinger. Though Honor isn't the main reason for the movie's continued success, she certainly contributed. Honor's career after Goldfinger while she was still working on The Avengers and before leaving to work on Goldfinger, Honor Blackman appeared in another classic film. In 1963, she could be seen playing the part of Hera in the Ray Harryhausen production of Jason and the Argonauts. It's commonly regarded as being the preeminent Ray Harryhausen feature. 
With these two iconic film roles back to back, it's no wonder Honor had the confidence to leave her steady gig on the Avengers. In 1965, the show paid reference to Honor leaving to go work on Goldfinger. The reference came via the episode Too Many Christmas Trees. In the episode, the character of John Steed received a Christmas card from Dr. Kathy Gale. Whatever was written on the card, it prompted John to ask, whatever can she be doing at Fort Knox? Intuitive audience members knew this was an allusion to the main plot of Goldfinger, in which the titular villain attempts to knock the famous army installation over. After appearing alongside Sean Connery in Goldfinger, Honor Blackman reunited with him in 1968, Shalako. In 1971, she graced the screen alongside Dean Martin in Something Big. Around the same time, Honor also started making significant waves in theater. In 1968, she appeared alongside John Neville in a musical called Mr. and Mrs. In 72, she returned to TV screens once more thanks to a small but memorable role on Columbo. By the late 70s, Honor Blackman was appearing on the stage more and more. Her work on the stage saw her tour all across the world. In 1981, she appeared in a London production of The Sound of Music. The production also starred Petula Clark. Notably, the play was a financial hit. It sold more advanced tickets than any production before it. Enjoyable. Honor Blackman persevered for decades. In 1983, Honor Blackman appeared in a film called The Secret Adversary, based upon the Agatha Christie novel of the same name. That same year, she appeared in a BBC production of the opera Orpheus in the Underworld. In 86, she appeared on the British television staple Doctor Who. The episode she appeared in was called Terror of the Vervoids, and it was part of the show's 23rd season. Per Doctor Who tradition, the 23rd season formed a serial dubbed The Trial of a Time Lord. The next year, she returned to the stage again. She could be found at the Fortune Theatre performing the role of Mother Superior in a play called Nonsense. In 1990, she joined the main cast of a TV series called The Upper Hand. It was a British series that ran until 1996. Around the turn of the millennium, she returned to the silver screen via a role in the hit 2001 comedy Bridget Jones's Diary. Though it was a British film, it became a massive crossover hit, yielding a sequel in 2004. Sadly, Honor didn't return for the sequel. Honor Blackman's Later Life After performing in Bridget Jones's Diary, Honor continued acting predominantly on the small screen and the stage. She appeared on the show's Midsummer Murders and Coronation Street before taking to the stage in high-profile productions like My Fair Lady and Cabaret. As far as her personal life, Honor was married twice over the course of her life. Her first husband was a man named Bill Sankey, while her second husband was an actor named Maurice Kaufman. Though she never had biological children, Honor and Maurice adopted two children. After divorcing from her second husband, she never remarried. She passed away in April of 2020 from natural causes. She was 94. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Honor Blackman trained in judo to perform the role of Dr. Kathy Gale on The Avengers? Let us know in the comment section below.